Aziz, what's the, the preparation like uh, finding out on Sunday you got a game, team you don't know much about, quick turnaround to Wednesday? Um, it was not easy, you know. Uh, after finding out we're not going to the tournament, so like it was kind of hard, but we just, you know, <clears throat> competitor, that's what we do. So we're just getting back on track, trying to win every game as possible. You've talked a lot about your struggles with the waiver process earlier this year. Was there a moment in the season where you kind of just like shed all of that and you could finally focus on basketball? Did you feel that moment at all? Not really. Like, I've been just been thinking about it this morning, like how this season has been crazy. Like, I've been with a lot of things, but I'm just thankful, like, we make it this far to see, like, really, when things really not going, like, in your way sometimes, like, how far can you go? I really like it, yeah. Coach Miller said he mainly chose to play in the NIT because he genuinely enjoys coaching and coaching this group of guys. What was it like to just go through an entire season with him, and did you learn anything more about him that you may not have when he recruited you? Uh, I learned a lot. I learned uh, one thing I really appreciate about him is like he really uh, be there for you every time on the hardest time too. So that's really the thing I really appreciate about him. I learned about him too. So yeah. How was the area? You know, you, you had to sit for a long time, and then then you came back. You had a, had a huge game, and you got to play. Uh, how's it been? And uh, any indication of uh, do you return? Uh, it was not easy. Like every time you return, I feel like, like uh, you have to be re ready mentally too. So like, cause you've been waiting, like not having really competing. So I feel like every time you return, you kind of like, like uh, have certain mindset to be ready to go forward. Even though like you don't even know when you're gonna come back sometime. Yeah. How stressful is it? The season and Saturday selection Sunday and then Monday the transfer portal opens maybe not for you specifically just players in general how stressful of a stretch is that with the tournament still happening NIT but players now going in the portal and you see all this movement uh, I happen really fast uh, as a player just just know like like everything can change and now like coaches can get fired like everything can happen in a second so just be ready to like know like what your situation what your situation is and everything and for some player like I just feel like they need to be more ready to, to make sure like it just like they would not lose another year like not being ready for that. Kind of going off of that with the transfer portal ask someone that's been through it what would be your advice to a player that's contemplating entering the portal or someone Who's in the portal looking for a new team? Uh, my advice would be like, if you want to be on the portal, just make sure like you're going for a good reason, like because you got a lot of people out there. They're gonna tell you like what they want you to do and everything you want to hear, but they will do the opposite. So just to be careful, yeah, who to trust. Yeah. You've moved around a couple times. Are you looking forward to an off season of maybe having some stability where? You're not dealing with the transfer portal and everything that goes with it? Uh, right now, I'm just kind of focused on the NIT, really. Like, I've been through so much as a player where, like, I'm just kind of focused on the thing I'm, I really can control. I feel like that's what everything I've been through told me, like, to really look, focus on the thing you can control and everything else will really take care of yourself. You played in the NIT last year with Utah Valley. How does that experience help with your preparation heading into this year's NIT? Uh, I feel like playing March is like not everybody do it, so like, I feel like it's gonna keep you like to see like the importance of playing in March. Everybody watching like they, so like every time you competing, just just eat what you do, so like you can complain, just be there, do your job, and yeah. The goal, obviously, like you said, being in the NCAA tournament, stings that you're not there. How do you refocus that energy because you do have a tournament that. Coach Miller just spoke about how he wants you guys to get a banner and a ring. How do you refocus and try to win another tournament that isn't the one you want to be in? Uh, it's not really easy, yeah. Like for everybody, like you're going to go through emotion, but it's all about response. You know, like we didn't 
to go out and wait the distance in your life and have to stop and wait next year like we got an opportunity to really, I feel like, really show off. So, yeah. Anything else? Right. Thanks, Aziz. Thanks, Aziz. Good luck. Yeah.